Thanks, everybody. It's uh, nice to be here. I like it here, uh, Cincinnati. I grew up in Zanesville. Two people. <laughs> no one ever knows where Zanesville is, so I always have to do this. Uh, hey. Remember that news story last year where the dude killed himself, but before doing so, he let go 38 wild animals? Yeah. That's my hometown. Yeah. I was about, like, I saw that on the news. This is a completely true story. I saw that on the news, and I called my dad, and I go, are you okay? And he goes, I don't know, I just drove by a camel. <laughs> you know, weird, because if you haven't been, they're not indigenous to the area. Um, I was transfixed. I watched the news all day because Zanesville is never on the news, even in Zanesville. <laughs> so I'm watching this like all day and like my favorite part, because they killed the animals, that wasn't the favorite part, but they did kill the animals and all these people on the news were like, oh my God, I can't believe they killed, I can't believe it. You can't believe it? Am I the only person that grew up in a small town? Um, hunters live there. <laughs> You think they were gonna miss their once a lifetime shot at zebra season? I... <laughs> Let's... Honey, get the kids out of school. We're going on safari. <laughs> it's been, uh, yeah, it's, I've been home uh, most of the month. It's been nice being home for the holidays. Uh, the single holidays, I'm newly single. That's exciting, right? Um, here's something I found out about myself. Uh, I, now that I'm single, have started having pretend relationships. <laughs> You ever do that? Okay, weird silence, it's not that odd, okay? <laughs> Let me explain, all right? Here's what I do. If I'm sitting next to a woman I don't know for longer than 20 minutes, in my head, we just start dating. <laughs> okay, it's not creepy. I just said, da it's dating. It's, it's all a bit like, we're going for dinner. I'll call you the next day. You didn't call me back. Who's that dude on your Facebook page? You know what I mean, dating. Uh, <laughs> The point is, this happens a lot at the gym. That's what, like, because you're on a treadmill, there's some woman you don't know on the treadmill next to you, why not make a love connection, right? Well, a couple months back, woman on the treadmill next to me had Tourette's. It was as awesome as you thought it might be. Because I don't expect it, I got headphones on. I don't even see her get on the treadmill. And then louder than Peter Chris's solo album, I hear this. Gah! Gah! Get it, bitch! Get it! <laughs> I fell in love immediately. <laughs> and to make our soiree more romantic, right? within five minutes, her behavior cleared everyone else out of the treadmill area. <laughs> so it's just us on this little sea cruise, right? And the people that left, I'll never understand. I don't get, how, I don't, how do you see something like that in public and your response isn't, oh, where the hell is this going? <laughs> I ran for an hour and 20 minutes that day. Because <laughs> that's how long she ran, I'm not leaving my baby behind. You know what I mean? <laughs> I really did run for over an hour that day, I really did. Because that's, I guess that's where, I, like, that's where I differ from people. Like, when I see something like that, I go, oh, that's why I woke up today. <laughs> that's what got me. Like, I mean, that's the kind of stuff that gets me out of bed in the morning. Now, literally, it's what gets me out of bed in the morning. Like, I don't, I don't know if anybody else, like, I have this voice now every morning when I wake up, because I don't want to run, but now I just have this voice every day going, get it, bitch, get it! And I'm like, all right, let's... <laughs> <laughs> slap on some running shoes and do this. You know what I mean? That's... I have, but that's, I don't know if anybody else is like that. That's, like, when I'm single, that's when I lose a ton of weight. Like, I just, I'm sad, and I work out, and that seems to, it's just depression and exercise. That's the key to physical fitness. <laughs> it really is, for me, and no one believes me. Like I said, I was home for the holidays, and I saw a friend I didn't see in a long time, and he looks at me, he goes, wow, you've lost weight, and I go, yeah, and that's why I told him, he goes, yeah, that's not what happened. He goes, you sure you don't have AIDS? What? <laughs> God, I hope not. Right? How awful would that be? You know what I mean? Spend all those hours in the gym and then find out you would have just lost the weight anyways? Like, <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. 
time management problem more than anything else, really, when you think about it. I don't know what I'm doing. It's okay, BC. I think it's nice, though. Like, if you see a couple, they found each other and they're happy for that brief moment or whatever. I think that's good. That's why I don't understand. Like, this, it was an election year, and I'm not going to bother you with that because I barely paid attention. But, like, how do we get, like, in June, like, gay marriage became a national debate? What are you doing? Stop it. So gay marriage should not be your thing unless you're either A, gay, or B, they change the rules to you have to marry a gay person. <laughs> and yes, at that point, I agree, we all have the right to go, hold on. <laughs> Do I get to pick? <laughs> I mean, just look at the arguments being used. It's ridiculous. There was a guy who was running for president four years ago, and his argument was, he said if we let gay people get married, the next thing that's gonna happen are people are gonna wanna marry their animals. Oh my God, is that dumb? <laughs> it's not just dumb, it's super myopic. I mean, look at, just look at the argument from a different angle. Look at, like, like, cause you've heard that, it's just, put it this way, okay? Um, if a guy wants to marry his horse, <laughs> that guy's already banging his horse. <laughs> You kind of seem to overlook the bigger problem <laughs> in this stupid scenario. Because for that logic to work, that indicates you believe there's a guy in love with a horse, <laughs> but waiting for marriage. <laughs> just gazing across a field somewhere, just... <laughs> Someday, Trigger. <laughs> That should prove it to you. The gay marriage debate isn't about marriage, it's about sex. And sex and marriage are not the same thing, okay? I used to be married, now I am not married. When you go through that, you don't give the sex back. Right? You sign a piece of paper and you no longer own a crock pot. That's how that works. <laughs> sign a piece of paper to get into a marriage, sign a piece of paper to get out of a marriage. So what's marriage? It's a legal contract. So what are we saying in the whole gay marriage debate, really? America doesn't trust gay people to sign contracts. <laughs> and all I'm humbly saying is, if you're gay, take advantage. <coughs> take out a credit card tomorrow, just run it up. <laughs> and then when they go, you have to pay for this, you can go, oh, I mean, well, I'd like to, but, well, as you can clearly see, that's a contract. And, well, I'm all, oh, so I couldn't. <laughs> 